Hi everybody, in today's quick tips, we're gonna show you how to use a light meter and how beneficial these little gadgets are in helping you take care of your house plants. So, you ready to dig in? Let's grow. Here's the digital light meter that we've chosen to use. It's called Smart Sensor and it costs you about $22. I'll leave you the link below in the description box so you can check it out on Amazon. So a light meter is gonna have several, several elements to it. The first will be the receptor, the light receptor. Ours comes with a protective lid, so you can put it on top of this when you're storing it. So you protect the, the receptor. You'll have your screen, and then you'll have several buttons, depending on which brand you use. Most notably, you'll have your on-off button here at the top on ours. And next to that, you'll have a Lux or foot candle button. Lux is used for those folks who use metric system. Here in the United States, we use the Imperial measurement so we're gonna use foot candles for our readings. And that's, in all of our videos, I use foot candles for our readings. But in Europe and other countries that use metrics, you're gonna use probably Lux. And the difference between Lux and foot candles, there is no difference, it's just the distance from when the light hits an, an area from one foot candle. For, for foot candles, it's a light reading that's one foot away. For Lux, it's a light reading that is up to a meter away but they all provide the same amount of luminescence on the plant to wherever the distance is. So you can get the still accurate reading. You just need to convert your numbers. So for foot candles to Lux, our numbers are always gonna be lower. The metric, uh, the Lux number is always much higher. And it's like a 10 times uh, of a foot candle, a Lux reading. If we have an 800 foot candle, a Lux is gonna be 8,200 foot uh, Luxes. So that's just a like rule of thumb, but there's, a, there's an exact uh, formula you can use to get the difference between the two. But here it's great because it because this one offers it to you and we'll show you when we turn it on. You can see how, how the, the difference is. Uh, below that is a light, a backlight for the, for the digital readout. And it also gives you uh, temperature readings in the home. So you can check out uh, the temperatures in different areas of your home if you, if you so choose. And then you have a mode uh, function to, to toggle through some other, some other features. So for the, for, for the sake of this discussion, let's just turn on the light meter. Ours does this number and right away toggles to uh, Lux and says Lux at the top there. So, and it also below here is also showing us the Celsius for the temperature in the home. So here we're getting 6,460 or 6,400 and change of Lux reading, light reading near this plant. Now, if I, if I push the button here to go to, to foot candles, you can see it dropped down to 600. So there's that 10X I told you about. So we're getting... Here is the backlight. You won't really see it well because I have some lights here for filming, but this gives it a nice green backlight. So it's just a nice little feature to have there. And the mode feature is just putting things on hold so that you don't, it tells you the last reading so you can write it down and you toggle it up toggle it off again with three pushes. And now it's back to running. So the mode basically is on this, this, this light meter is just basically locking in uh, that number just so you can write it down. Uh, say you're taking a measurement and you wanna get to a notepad. So that mode feature kind of helps you by just locking it in. It's one of those little features. You don't really need to use it. But the main thing is you wanna, you wanna in the United States or where you have imperial uh, measurements, use foot candles. And I'll go into foot candles in a minute on how uh, in all of our videos, you'll know that I talk about uh, low light, medium light, and high light. Because many people have talked about indirect light. So you want a bright light. Well, what is that number? And what is, the, what is that, how, does, how do you get your plant in the right location to get the right amount? University of Florida IFAS did a really good article on house plants and what their lighting needs are. Because as you know, on many, many channels uh, for people who take care of houseplants. Many folks are saying, oh, my plant does best in bright, bright light, or mine does good in indirect, mine does well in medium, medium bright light. Those are very hard to gauge and get a number to, to, to actually know how that plant will do well in your home. So what I've done is I, I refer back to their chart and give that guidance on our, on our channel on what the uh, and how valuable these devices actually are so that you know that your plant if your plant for example the pepperomi here if your plant needs medium light you're going to want between 100 and 500 foot candles so the best way to review that is probably to pull up this foot candle chart here of low medium and high 
beginning of low light will be between 25 foot candles and 100 foot candles. Medium light will be between 100 and 500 foot candles. And plants that require high light will want 500 foot candles to 1,000 or more. So that gives you that gives you your gauge now that you can use a device like this to determine if your plant is getting the right amount of light that it needs to flourish in your home. So it's a super valuable little instrument. I really highly recommend folks get one because it's very hard, especially with some homes. And I'll, and I'll show you some, I'll go over some other things on how you do the, the reading, the best to do the reading so you get an accurate measurement because homes are all different and you have windows, different windows. Some people have uh, lots of windows. Some people have some obscured light from, from trees and other stuff that comes in your home. So you wanna, you wanna make sure that you get the right amount of light for your plant so it does best. Now, to speak to, to uh, how you use the device, you want a reading three times, in the morning, in noon, and in the afternoon. You wanna get the light hitting the plant. You wanna be just about you know, a few inches off the plant and face this meter towards the light source. And do that three different times during the day, morning, noon, and afternoon, to get an average. And once you get an average, you just divide that by three, you get the three, add them up, divide it by three, and then you're gonna get your foot candle average. So that will tell you if you're getting, for example, for the peperomia, you're getting a, a thousand foot candle reading average, you may be getting, this may be too bright for your plant and it may start to scorch the leaves. If you're getting down in the 25 average, if it's really in a dark area or in your bathroom with no windows, then you know you're not giving your plant enough light and you need to move it to another light source or closer to a light source, artificial or window um, light is fine uh, to get the needs, to get to, to get the light levels that you need. And once you have your average foot candles, you're all set and you have the lighting requirements that you need for your plant. It's really easy peasy lemon squeezy. We hope this information was helpful to you, but if you have any questions on how to use a light meter, just leave a comment in the description box below and I'll make sure I get back to you. Until the next video, see you later. If you found value in this video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We post weekly. Thanks.